What's up, everyone? Happy May the 4th to everybody out there. I got my lucky Star Wars shirt on. I don't know if you could tell yet or if you took a close look at my tattoos, but uh, it's, kind of, it's a full Star Wars sleeve. I'm sort of a fan. But we're not here to talk about Star Wars, at least not on this video. But what we will talk about are using H tags and header tags with Elementor and how to use them the right way. Because here's the thing. When I started off in web development and starting to build websites, I got H tags completely wrong. And I've had a few questions come through after one of my last videos, uh, building design systems about setting up the H tags in the typography styler for Elementor. You see, where I got it wrong when I started off was, I used to think that the H tags were about the size of the tags. For example, by default, inside the browser with Google uh, and inside Elementor, uh, the H1 tag is like the biggest title. The H2 is like the second biggest and the H3 gets smaller, four gets smaller, you know, so on. So I thought that the title tags, whatever was the biggest title, that was the one to put the H tag on. But that was completely wrong. Actually, H tags have nothing to do with the size of the title or the style of the fonts or what title you're going to be using. And if you are choosing H tags, like I did when I started off, I did this, I, I'm totally guilty of it. But if you are choosing which H tag to use in your title based on the size of that, that title or that headline, then you're making a really big mistake that's really gonna harm the SEO. Because what an H tag really is for, it's all about the SEO. It's all about telling Google what this web page is about or this website is about. So let me break this down really quick. And I'm gonna show you some examples on a site that I built to just help make better sense with it. And I really hope that by the end of this video, uh, that if you're building the site for yourself, if you're a, a do-it-yourself or building a site for your own business, or if you're new and building sites for your clients, that you're gonna be able to make them more SEO friendly and make them more searchable and really improve the SEO on the site that you're creating. All right, so real quick, let's break it down. H1, the H1 tag, the one that's the biggest one, that one is actually the most important. That H1 tag should be like the title of the page or if it's your homepage, it should be the title of the site. That H1 tag should be this is what this website is, or this is what this page is right here, and sum it all up inside that. And a rule of thumb, and this is by Google, and this is well known through all SEO experts and all that, is you only use one H1 tag per page. Never use more than one. All right, so going down, when you get to the H2 tag, that's gonna be your second most important tag and that's where you're gonna start adding your keywords in. What are people searching for? Let's say you have a web design company and some of your services are web design or WordPress development. So those are gonna be like your H2 tags right there. And then your H3 tags are the third most important and those are gonna basically reinforce the H2. See where I'm going with this, you know, it's, it's a hierarchy. So, you know, that, that's what this is all about. It's about telling Google what this web page is about and it's giving Google this hierarchy of keywords and key phrases and being able to rank right where you're supposed to and rank better. So real quick, what I wanna do is I wanna show you a website that we built and I wanna show you the header tags in it. And this will probably help make a whole lot more sense when you see uh, what we did here and the reason why. Now this website right here we built, uh, the SEO has been fully optimized on it. In fact, it's got really, really good rankings. They are ranked on the number one page in Google for the search terms that they're ranking for. Let me show you real quick what we did here. So you can see here, okay, we got a slider right here. And on the slider, it's got, you know, it's got these headlines. Uh, and you got this headline right here, you know, this one, are you or a loved one battling an addiction? And this website, this is for an addiction treatment center that is in Chiang Mai, out here in Thailand. And uh, you know, this one right here, look at how this headline sounds. You know, are you, are you or a loved one battling an addiction? This right here is like, it, it's emotional. It, it talks to the user, speaks directly to the person, you know, 
clicking on. And when they read something like this, they're like, hey, you know, maybe this is the right website for them and they'll continue reading. But if we look here, let me do the inspect element. This is actually an H4 tag. Now you would think it might be an H1 tag because it's the big one, you know, it's the biggest size title, but it's actually H4. And the reason is, let's go right back to it. And the reason is there's really no keywords in this. There's no search terms. This is a, an addiction treatment center, but there's no search terms to tell Google this is what this website's for. So let's scroll down a little bit. And now we're gonna look at the next section. And we got this title right here, Clarity Rehab Thailand. And then we got this subtitle right here, the subheader, and this is like smaller. And the smaller one says, look at what it says, clinically proven addiction rehabilitation in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Now that sounds super clinical, you know, it's not appealing. But if we look at the inspect element and check it out, this is actually the H1 right here. This is the most important tag right here. But we don't make it, on, on this project right here, we didn't make it the big headline in the banner because really, if you put that in a banner, clinically proven, it, it doesn't sound appealing. It's, it's not like the other one, the other one that says, hey, are you or a loved one battling addiction? You know, that right there is going to, is going to speak to the user. This H1 tag right here, the clinically proven one, that's gonna to speak to Google. So that's why we made it number one. Now we got this other title right here, Clarity Rehab Thailand. Let's go ahead and take a look at Inspect Element and this is an H2 tag. So this one right here is, this is the second most important on the page. So that is the reason why we do not use the H tags based on the size because it has nothing to do with the size. What the H tag has to do with is the search terms, the keywords. It's all about the SEO, the content, and telling Google what the web page is for. SEO is tricky. You gotta write it for two sides. You have to write it for Google, but you also gotta write it for your target uh, user. So you gotta have that balance. And if we scroll down more, you're gonna see uh, more titles right here. Uh, let's see, that's a hard one to look at. So a holistic approach to addiction treatment. Let's take a look at this. And here's another H2. Like I said, we can use multiple H2s. And right here, we got the word holistic addiction treatment. So that's another search term that this client wanted to rank for. And then we got these smaller titles right here, Detox Services. Let's take a look at this. And this is an H3. So like the main site, the main service is not Detox Services, but that's part of it. So that kind of falls underneath, you know, holistic treatment and it falls underneath uh, the Rehab Thailand. And so we make these ones, it's not based on size, but these are actually the keywords are falling in. So it's kind of like, this is like the title of the page, the H1. And then you got these H2s that are given the main keywords. This is exactly what we want people to come to our site that they're looking for. And then you got the H3s, right? We also got these right over here. They're gonna reinforce the H2s and so on. Hope that this made a lot of sense right over here. Uh, really quick tip uh, that I would suggest on the next time you build a website is to plan out your, your H tags beforehand, to actually plan them out to, even before you start the design, to like write down which keywords and key phrases you want to rank for and then you know, this is something that I do. I like to plan out my H tags. So, you know, there, there's a plan behind it. And then my process is I write down my H tags, I write down my keywords, and then I build the wireframe. And when I build the wireframe, I put the headlines and I put the keywords and the H tags and, and plan out. And we're lucky, we are super lucky that we got Elementor. Elementor makes it so easy for us to do. It makes it super easy because Back in the days before Elementor, if I wanted to do something like this right here to make this H1 tag small, 
I would have to write CSS for it. If I wanted to make the H2 text really big or the H4 text even really, really big, I'd have to write CSS for it. But if we go over to Elementor, let's go take a look at Elementor right here. We could click on this and we could select any H tag that we want. Super easy, we're really lucky about it. Now, one thing I do suggest is when you go over here to your site settings and you see right here your theme styler and it gives you the option to style up each of your font types. And this has been pretty much standard for like WordPress themes, even before Elementor. Uh, they give you the option to style all your H2 tags. So all your H2 tags are the same style. All H3 tags are the same style. I highly suggest not to do that, to leave that alone. Uh, because it's not about the size. The tags aren't about the size. I, I, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I, in fact, I don't even think they should have this inside here because it is a bit confusing and misleading. Instead, we got this over here, your global fonts. So I just put out a video uh, about design systems, about setting up global fonts. I'll put a link to that inside of the description. But inside here, you can select on large title. You can style it up. See, I already got my large title here. Everything's styled up. And let's get out of here. I'll show you how that works. I could go over here to this title right here. I could go style it up. And I could choose what size. See, I make my sizes with that right there. So my sizes are already built. And then I could go in and I could change my tags around as needed so that way we can make it more seo friendly well i hope that makes sense it's a late night over here i'm working with the new setup and i'm just finished celebrating may the fourth day so may the fourth be with all you guys out there all my star wars fans man what up uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped out. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I get back to everybody and I really appreciate you being here and watching. I'll be back soon again with more Elementor and web design related content. All right, thank you.